Hello YouTube, this is Brian again, BeResult805. Coming back with you um, with, if you didn't know us already, I did a video of the Headmaster, uh, Junkie on Blacksmith, uh, Blaster figure. I repainted him red, so now he matches red. Instead of this orangey color he was. And also, ah, he's gonna fall. I repainted the more bluish Ultra Magnus to look like Ultra Magnus. And I could have said that as I was reviewing the figures, but oh well. Like I said originally, if you want to see a review on any of these figures separately, please let me know. Just say, oh, and see the red one, or whatever. You can correct me on names, too, if you want. So, first off, I left these guys here. We have the three we did last time, and the two we did last time. Or three. Yeah. So, now we're doing these guys. So, first, we're going to start with RC. She is the easiest, and, uh, never mind. Yeah. So, she has, like, in the G1 cartoon, and not the Headmasters. Um... I did in one of my customs. So this is Daniel. Although I think the figure I used was a girl. But I think it works. So that's all I do. You take off the back and push the head in. And she wouldn't be headless per se. Usually when they trans he when he would transform like this, uh, she'd go back to car mode. So that is the only thing. And then you can just have them be separate characters too if you really want to. So yeah, this is animated RC if you didn't notice. And we have Daniel in his spacesuit. So yeah, we add those right over there. There's one. Next comes with comes Blaster. Yeah. And this piece was breaking off, so uh, it kind of gets glued down. And I chose. him to be uh portray the whole, the whole what if scenario of if because there's a headmaster what if there's a human inside and it says he's a security officer so it kind of works out okay to transform him is um, regular so I'm going to give you a close up of Ultra Magnus, which will be next. Okay. So now, there's Ultra Magnus, and there's his human friend right there, and I thought they kind of fit the part. It says he's a Besman guard. So he's kind of like, just like that, and it works out. I mean, Besman guard, uh, city commander, he could work out. I mean, he has the same colors, so. So transform him. It is the same way. Then special treat. Well, oh, for those guys. Okay. So for Megatron, the head piece that Megatron came with was this. So it would be like a gun handle or something. But I fit really well here. And you put his head. Oh, so if you want to see the difference of orange that he came with. 
That's the difference right there. So there is him. And if you'd like to see, he's got either a bird with him or his lion friend. The lion one looks better, but they both fit in that one. Okay, so then I took animated Ultra Magnus' head off. I disconnected, I cut up some wires. I think this is the one that came with, sorry, came with him. And it just sits here and sits there. So yeah, and here you see the red on his legs, but I don't think it really matters. I think because of back piece right there. There you go. Alright, so here he is. He has a flat face, but... I think it looks cool. Okay, put this back down. Okay, last but not least of the Autobots is... I brought both of them out, so. so let's see. Move him back here and move him back there. Alright. So we have both of them right here. Then I picked him out. His name was, uh. He's a Doro Scout. And both of those guys' name is Doros. So. It fits good with him, but him, I think he's a little too tall, so. I'm going to have to find a new human person for him. Or an uh, alien person for him. So, I just thought it would be funny. So, if you don't know how to do it, these guys are the easiest. And when I say easiest, it's never easy. So, there he is. Let me put him to the side. Bring him back. Him back. Okay. Now here is a third party one. I don't remember. Fans project, possibly? I don't know. So, much better. I like his head a little better than that one, but I wish he was taller. Then it just fits in there. And there he is. Fits really well with the other figures. And there's the good guys are so far. So target masters and headmasters. Um So over here I hope we get to this. Okay. I did uh one of my videos right here. So here's Soundwave. The head sticks out. And for him, his human carp, his uh, host, it says Imperial Inquisitor, I believe. But, but just the way he was standing, just seemed like he would get down his business, he would follow directions, and he'd make sure plans go through, and it fit better than all the other car, the people out there. So, here, here he is. Oh. Hold on. Alright. Sandwave is here. And I took out the old head right there. And it just slip or slides right there. With the uh, friction. And one of these days the head's gonna break off, but I'm okay with that. 
And it still works with the old G1 tapes. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So we got the good guys, the bad guys, and to be continued. Until next time, this is Brian from B Result 805 signing off.